Hey, what's up? So I have a quick video for you today again and before I actually start the video I just want to let you know some of the cool customizations I did with my devices in the past maybe a week and a half So first up with my Nexus 5 I got Aviate Launcher So now I have that cool, all that swipe gestures, all that animations And on my iPhone I pretty much changed the wallpaper Anyway, so let's get to the video Alright, so I'm not gonna actually show you how to install the Expose framework because there's already so many tutorials out there on Google, on YouTube, you know, so just make a quick search for it and you'll get a detailed tutorial. So first up I'll show you Gravity Box or Gravity Box, I call it Gravity Box for short. But as you can see for yourself, as you're seeing these options here, the amount of tweaks that you can do with this is amazing. Each of these categories have subcategories and they're just basically every sync down to the tiniest aspect of your phone you can modify with gravity box so if you just go in a quick one like lock screen tweaks you can see all these tweaks for lock screens like background style unlock ring targets battery arc slide before unlock enable torch double tap to sleep all of these good stuff and that's just one category and I mean, if you're running pure Android, vanilla Android, this is a definite must. You need to install Expose module and get Gravity Box. You wouldn't even need a custom ROM once you're rooted. So I, I highly recommend Gravity Box. You should go get it now if you're rooted. And let me know in the comments what you think about that. Now secondly, I just want to show you one called Swipe Back. And being an iOS and Android user, there's a feature I miss a lot when I start using my Nexus 5 after using my iPhone for a while and that's being able to grab the left edge of the screen and just swipe to go back like that. And as you can see I'm using no navigation bar so swiping back is like the most convenient way of going back for me. And I kind of took off my navigation bar because I like that full screen look. But this feature is like, it basically works the exact same way as iOS 7 and 7.1 and you actually have full control so once you grab it from the left edge you can push it away or pull it off as fast or as slow as you like and it just flies off the screen and that's pretty much one of the features that I use the most. So those two were basically my favorite and most used expose mods and I actually use them a lot. So if you find them useful to you don't forget to like this video, don't forget to share it and stay tuned for more. I'll see you in my next video.